Greetings everyone from the rooftop of the Tabernacle of David. Wow, it's very windy up here. I don't know if you will hear me. I wanted to talk about feelings and how um, I love those bells. That's from Door Mission Abbey, which is to the left, from my view, to the left of the upper room where Yeshua had the Last Supper, which was the Seder evening, the Passover. Yeshua went to his execution stake on the Passover and he rose on the Passover. Hallelujah. I want to talk about feelings and how feelings are signposts and indicators. And they're important and we shouldn't dismiss them. Yes, it's true. There is a scripture that says the heart is deceitful above all else. Um, but that doesn't mean that feelings which are indicators, markers so to speak, that we toss them all out. No, we simply use wisdom. And of course, if we've been hurt in certain ways, we may believe lies. And if we believe that, we'll feel bad. Sometimes our feelings can be the result of what we're chewing on. Mm -mm -mm. Gulp and swallowing. I'm going to talk a little louder just in case. There we go. Um, yeah, and I just feel like every now and again, maybe it's more now than again, um, I need to stand up and oppose certain things uh, in the church. Like you can walk away from the church feeling that you are just like another cookie cutter believer. Not that you think that, but the church can give a message that, you know, we're all the same. We're not all the same. On the contrary. And hopefully we're all a work in progress. And for me, my dance worship is how I respond to God but also as an artist, as a dancer, as a creator, uh, creating, he's the creator, but we've been given the gift of creating. It's a wonderful way to express our hearts um, because many of the emotions are really beyond words. And so art, I believe, is also an attempt to try to express what's in our hearts. And isn't it the greatest when art is an expression of our process in this life? Someone who hasn't seen me in five years, and I met nearly 15 years ago when I made Aliyah, made a comment to me the other evening. A few of us went out. Um, she remembers when I first came. I think I was saying in the very beginning of making Aliyah, yes, it was really, 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 really super duper challenging. And uh, I said something like, what do you remember about me from that time? And she said, it was tough. It was really tough, you know. And then she started to say how, you know, she's seen my growth and all that. And I said, I would hope that I've grown. It's, it's been 15 years. And so if I'm chronologically advancing in life, my process needs to be moving as well as a human being. So... That would be a very bad situation if I have not grown. Um, and we really need to be open to allow God to do his greatest work in us. And our part is to say yes. So don't ignore your feelings. Don't kick them to the curb. They're important. They're indicators. God speaks to us in our hearts, in our spirit. You know, the spirit of Yeshua and the Holy Spirit lives in our hearts that's where he chooses to live our hearts are precious and i love to call our hearts the garden of the lord let's be good stewards of our one-of-a-kind hearts in the name of yeshua god bless you